Mabuhai, great day guys, welcome to TSA Toy Stash in Action with another toy review and I'm Ranger Dave and today we are gonna check out the Hasbro Overwatch Lucio figure. That is right guys, we're gonna finally take a look at the Overwatch Lucio figure. Now I'm just totally excited about this figure guys, Overwatch is just a very awesome game and Lucio is my favorite hero among that, you know, especially when you do the sound wave or you know what the other gamers call it, like the boop. <laughs> but yeah, he just pushes away a bunch of heroes. But yeah, I'm totally excited. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys. So first up is the packaging. Now we don't review the packaging that often, guys. But I have to say the packaging just looks very, very awesome. That I feel that I'm buying an in-game purchase right now. You know, so it's very, very cool. I love how this thing looks right there. And yeah, uh, this is how it looks right there. You got the front, you got the toy, you got uh, the artwork for Lucio. At the side, you will see the classification uh, for what uh, type he is. And now it does say there, uh, you know, support. So, you know, he's a support uh, hero. And then, of course, right here at the back, this is what I'm telling you. You got the artwork, but you also get, like, a short bio right there. And, you know, this is, like, exactly how you... You know, um, envision a game figure, right, to be uh, portrayed in the packaging. So I really, really love that. I mean, you got the logo right there for the support. You got Lucio, and then of course you got the action pose. So really, really happy about that. But yeah, enough about the box. Let's go ahead and check this figure out. All right, guys. So we got Lucio right here in the channel, looking very, very awesome. I love the detail on this. The, it, everything is sculpted very nicely. So that is just really cool. And it can stand right there. Look at that. That is just really dope. Uh, because it does have like the razor lo you know, roller blades yeah there we go I almost slipped there but yeah there you go this is just awesome and it can stand very nicely with ease so that is just really really cool I love that about this figure now if you don't know Lucio guys he is a you know a very very awesome DJ for his current timeline guys and uh, you know on Overwatch, he actually helps out people. So I'm gonna use the term missionary because every time he just helps out every people that he sees that's you know less fortunate. So he's just a very cool guy. Now there are like the business people that exploited their uh, you know people's uh, you know cheap work labor, and then uh, you know he actually rebelled on that company, and then he took the techs or uh, you know the tech uh, that he's using right now, you know the you know, sound tech. Uh, that he, he's using like the legs right now that he's wearing you know the, everything that he has right here at the back you know that is just all stolen tech and he uses it uh, you know to just fight off all those bad guys that yeah you know he has so that's basically his backstory but you know, on the game this is just a very badass guy but yeah uh, I'll see here uh, what you could actually get uh, when you so yeah, let's go ahead guys and see the exact uh, detail that this figure has. Alright guys, so first up is the head sculpt on Lucio. So this is just awesome. So I love the head sculpt on this. You know, you got the likeness of the entire figure when it comes to like the game, uh, you know, uh, photos or the game graphics that he does have. So I love that. Uh, the only issue that I have right here is the visor. Or the visor looks great, I'll tell you that. Right? It's made out of translucent plastic. It's painted the way it should be uh, it's just right here you know it's just floating and i i feel that it's gonna break if i just you know don't be careful <laughs> so we'll need to be careful or extra careful on this figure i actually might glue it right here at this side to just uh keep it at bay all right so i mean if you keep it at bay like that you know it's gonna look very nice but yeah if it's not it's just gonna dangle right there you know, very very uh, you know unpleasant to the eye so yeah just good right there you know it's gonna look very nice and yeah you're not gonna remove it anyway all right so it's gonna stay like that uh when it comes to the paint job you do have like here for the print on the shirt you know very nicely you got uh the sonic backpack right there looking very very cool it's actually like a booster so that is just really awesome uh going for the legs you got the mechanic leg all right so you got the cable right there sculpted very nicely you got all the sculpted parts at the joints look at that the gears are also visible so that is just really cool and right here you know for the entire uh, you know foot you do have like the uh you know well the roller skates uh, if you will but there are like tron all right so they're like a tron figure uh type of uh, you know tech 
Uh, so that's what I'm guessing because they, you could actually like you know uh, run through walls with these so this is just really cool to present them especially with translucent plastic so I love that alright guys now when it comes to the accessory of course you get a fist hand and you get the ump it up hand <laughs> this is just really cool I love this alright he uses uh, this hand gesture very often so I love that you know that we get uh, this particular hand right there looking really cool we also get the sonic amplifier so this is just really really cool it's sculpted beautifully guys i love the sculpt on this this is just very game accurate and i love the paint job on it you know it just really, really uh just you know spot on <laughs> i have nothing to tell you guys but it's just spot on so this is just really cool we also get wall riding effects pieces guys so this is really cool cool all right so he has an ability to like bull ride like he literally rides through the wall so this is just really awesome because he has this you know effects uh, within the game so that is just really nice all right now when applying the accessory guys it's very easy you can take off the hand right here and you know just unpeg it there it goes so it's just a peg unpeg it and put in right here the ump it up hand there you go looking very very cool i love that and then of course you can take uh, the sonic amplifier this gun right there and just slide it in right here so let me just get it on a proper hand so one thing that you need to note when it comes to like the trigger hands i, I hate the thumb right here all right so it's just getting in the way especially when it comes to the accessory uh but yeah once you get it in there it's gonna stay in very beautifully so i love that and i love to make it uh, visible when here when it comes to the cable at this side so yeah uh, you can do that and then of course you can like make it raise the roof with this gun looking that that is just really awesome and then you can take here uh, the wall riding effects pieces now uh, they have like a slot right here uh, it's, it's made specifically with these uh, notches right there so you just peg it in there and then peg it in there very beautifully with that effects piece and look at that it's just awesome all right so i'm totally excited to do a bunch of photographies uh with this all right so look at that that is just really really insanely beautiful i mean you could do a bunch of something like that all right so i'm playing <laughs> now as for lucio's articulation guys so for the head you do have a bow hinge joint so you do have the side to side motion right there up and down oops there you go so this is gonna be removed often especially if you try to raise it up about this part because you know the scope of the hair it's gonna move in the way but yeah I, it's just pegged right there you can move it to side to side so you can raise it up about that high but yeah uh, that's basically it when it comes to the head and going right here for the arms you can spin it 360 if you want to you could raise it up about this much so that's a pretty good range and then down and you do have a butterfly joint right there present all right so it's just uh you know, done there very fairly it's gonna be a little hindered when it comes to the backpack but other than that it does work you do have a bicep symbol right here a double jointed elbow that you know crunches very very hard because it's just a new figure there <laughs> all right so you got the double crunch right there looking very awesome and then back right here you got a swivel at the wrist you got a hinge at the wrist now when it comes to the upper torso you do have a bow joint so you can move it side to side roll it whatever you want to so very very cool you got a hinge right here uh you know connected to the lower waist so you can crunch it about this far and then back up about that much now when it comes to the waist swivel uh you know it doesn't really swivel right here at the waist uh, that is because of the scope of the entire waist right here right, it's going to support these legs uh, because these legs are bow jointed that you can also do the splits about this far all right so that is just really cool down and then forward about this much back about this much you got a thigh swivel right here you got a single jointed you know knees that you know it's practically useless because look at that that is just how far it could go but yeah that's basically it 
you got a hinge right here at the ankles and it can ankle pivot. All right guys, so just for fun, here is our Lucio figure by Overwatch and this is just really, really awesome. Now he is a little smaller with the McFarlane toys in just his two flash guys. Now on our current collection, it's not gonna fit in, especially when it comes to the size. Uh, but you know, it's very interesting to see here that Hasbro has made a terrific job when it comes to the scope right here. Uh, when it comes to the Overwatch figure, guys, I was actually going to try to keep up with the, you know, uh, McFarlane Toys figures because the McFarlane Toys have, like, you know, very awesome sculpt right there. And this one actually just shows a lot of sculpting detail, so that is just really cool. But yeah, uh, overall, guys, this is just really awesome to put them side by side. And if you want to see him, guys, with a standard size 6 inch figure, we got here the Marvel Legends Stan Lee figure. So let me just fix his tie right there. There you go. Looking very nice and sharp right now, Stan Lee. <laughs> but yeah, uh, again, guys, this is basically how they should look and size up. Uh, you know, it's just with the regular 6 inch figures, but uh, I'm actually looking at it right here. Stanley still does look a little taller, so Hasbro did a little bit of, you know, downside right there, but yeah, this is just very interesting and very cool to have, and, you know, just a display piece, especially if you're playing, you know, Overwatch. Alright guys, so that's my take for the Hasbro Overwatch Lucio figure. So I totally love it, the sculpt, the paint job, and the overall like this of it when it comes to the game, alright? Uh, because it's a very, very awesome figure because it's very game accurate. So I totally love it, uh, you know, when the toy companies just make a toy and then, you know, it's very it's screen accurate or game accurate and it's just really cool to see it right here on this figure now um, really I only have a complaint uh, when it comes to the leg alright the leg joint right there when it comes to the knees is basically no no joint alright it's just no joint at all you, know, you could barely move it but yeah other than that guys this is a total package I'm still gonna give it a 4 out of 5 Alright, it's really awesome, especially if you're playing the game, guys, you know, you could actually pick this guy up, you know, other than your skins or digital, digital skins, you could actually get this figure, you know, just for display, especially if you're a big fan of Overwatch. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and if you are new to the channel, guys, please do hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be updated on every new video we have here. We have hundreds of videos on the channel for you guys to check out, and if you find one that you like or, you know, just snap, we're happy you're here. Remember guys, life is just one big collection. Peace out. God bless. Look at that! Woo!